Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you all? Welcome to online classes arranged by SLS Montessori and High School. This is Fatma Bashir, your English teacher. The topic of our today's lesson is dialogue writing. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, my dear students, you will be able to explain what is a dialogue, understand the rules of writing a dialogue, and write a dialogue by following the correct format. So, my dear students, what is a dialogue? A dialogue is a conversation between two or more people about one topic. Dialogues are an effective tool of communication. They are a very important form of composition. You must have read dialogues in stories or novels. Even in your daily routine, when you converse with your family, friends, teachers, etc., it is also a form of dialogue. For your better understanding, here is a video of a dialogue between two friends. Look carefully how the conversation will be done. Hi Colian, when are you next going to play golf? I am going to play tomorrow with friends from work this Saturday. Do you already have a foursome? Yes we do, if you like we can have a game at we end. That's a great idea, where are you playing? Let's choose somewhere close for both of us. How about Marina Beach, that is close for us both. How much is it? for a round of golf there. For a one day pass, it is 250 rupees. That's a good price. Let's go for it. Okay, let's make it 12 p.m. on Saturday. Is that all right for you? Make it 1 p.m. My wife works till 12 p.m. and I have to look after the kids. 1 p.m. it is. Okay, see you on Saturday. Should be a lot of fun. I hope you have understood what a dialogue is. Now we will discuss the rules of writing a dialogue. Keep the following rules in mind while writing a dialogue. Carefully think about the topic and then jot down the points. Arrange your ideas in a logical order. Write a dialogue in simple English. Avoid using complex sentences and words. Dialogue should be lifelike. Do not use thick words or complex sentences to make it unreal. Be careful with the use of tense while writing the dialogue. The flow of a dialogue should be very real and spontaneous. Write naturally what the persons in the dialogue feel and think in their positions or capacities. Write according to the subject of the dialogue. No need to add irrelevant or extra information. Make a clear idea of the imaginary characters participating in the conversation and assign the dialogue accordingly. Dialogues should not be written very long or very short, but rather have a satisfactory discussion of the subject within the given space. Use punctuation marks according to the sentence structure punctuation marks are very necessary to make a dialogue readable use question mark full stop comma or exclamatory mark according to the type of sentence so students a dialogue should be realistic conversational on a single given topic and correctly punctuated Keeping these rules in mind, let us write a dialogue. Write a dialogue between two friends about time management. First, write the name of the character and put colon. Then, write the statement. After that, write the name of the other character and put colon, keeping the same space beneath the previous colon. Now write the dialogue of the second character. Saba. Hello Sana. How are you? 
Sana, I am fine, Saba, but I am worried about my exams. They are going to start and I have little preparation. Students, did you notice a statement of the second character has not completed in a single line? And we continued the sentence from where the dialogue has started, not from where we have written the names. Keep in mind that name should come under the name and dialogue must be written below the dialogue. This is the format in which the dialogue is written. It gives us a unified and organized look. Keeping the format in mind, let us complete our dialogue. Saba, why have you not prepared well for your exams? Sana, I could not find time to prepare. I have been busy in my sports coaching and writing my book. Saba, oh, that is not fair. You must have managed time for your studies. Sana, I could not realize the importance of time and I have wasted a lot. Now I am worried. How would I study all the courses in this short period of time? Saba, you must make a timetable for study. Set up your preferences and assign some time to them. Sana, I have just 20 days left. I have to prepare all the subjects. Saba, so get relaxed. Just select important content and prepare it well. Sana, alas, I had given time to it earlier. Saba, time is not to be wasted. It is to be fully benefited. You got solid seven months, but you failed to give some time to your studies. Sana, can you give me some suggestions on time management? Saba, yes. First thing is to set up a schedule for your daily activities. Try to do all those in the assigned time period. That is the only way you can get the things well going on. Sana, okay. I will try to do this. Saba, also give time to all activities according to their importance. For example, now your studies are your top priority. So assign more time to it. Skip the activities that are of little importance. Like your sports coaching has ended and there is no need to give time to sports regularly. Sana, oh, that is a really great idea. I hope now I can do something to get through the exams. Saba. Good. Best of luck with your exams. I have to go now. Goodbye. Sana. Thank you, dear friend. Goodbye. Dear students, here our dialogue ended. You must have noticed we have used all the rules we discussed earlier. As one rule was to arrange your ideas in a logical order and the flow of the dialogue must be realistic. The green highlight proves that our dialogue has a logical order. Keeping the topic in mind, we moved logically to the end. The flow of the dialogue was real and spontaneous. Without adding any irrelevant detail, we discussed the main subject of the dialogue. Another rule was to write a dialogue in simple English. Avoid using complex words or sentences. Our example dialogue was written in simple English. Pink highlighted sentences are a few examples of that. The sentences which are highlighted in yellow show the examples of punctuation according to the type of sentence. You can see use of question mark for interrogative sentences or use of exclamatory marks for sudden emotions. So students, these all points prove that our dialogue was realistic, conversational, on a single given topic and correctly punctuated. I hope you have understood our today's lecture that how to write a dialogue keeping all the rules in mind and by following the correct format. So, this is assessment time. Write a dialogue on one of the following topics. Write a dialogue between a teacher and a student who is habitual of coming late. 
write a dialogue between mother and daughter about studies. Write a dialogue between two friends about the choice of a profession. Here our today's topic ends. Hope to see you soon with a new topic. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.